Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com and today we're going to talk about a cool app that just got released uh, which is called the Hack Store and it's basically what Cydia is for all you jailbroken bro uh, Apple devices like your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. If you have a jailbroken Apple device, you know what Cydia is and it's basically you could download uh, apps that were never approved by Apple. Now there's a, a application that does the same thing that's called the Hack Store. And now you can download all these uh, cool apps or tweaks or whatever from this new app store which is called the Hack Store without having to find them all over online and in different areas. You'll have them in all in one, one place. And what's good about this Hack Store is that you'll have all the descriptions, reviews, everything just like if you're in the regular app store for Apple. A big thing they want to make sure to, to let everybody know is that no piracy will be uh, will be on this on the on this new hack store. It's not a piracy store. So their motto here is no pi no piracy apps here forever and ever. And it's it, it seems like it it's going to work out pretty well for all you app developers. Uh, for applications on on Macintosh computers, you know, if you guys have a hard time getting into a App Store for Apple, then this is going to be a, a nice place to try to, to try your luck. So if we see down here, let's get some uh, some screenshots here. As you can see right here in these screenshots, it looks almost identical to the App Store, where you have uh, your categories right here. And you could see that they have their different categories, games, education, business, sports, news, whatever. Uh, there's all your, your sections here, which is under new, featured, categories, about, and updates. So if you have downloaded a, a, an application from the Hack Store and there's an update, you could click on the update and it'll show you if there's any updates for any of those applications. So there's uh, two languages right now that are supported. Uh, English or Russian so you could just go to store language and then change that and you could easily update just like any other application just by going to the hack store and check for updates so all in all it looks like a pretty neat um, application to have just to be able to see what uh, these developers could do so if we go down here and I'll provide the link in the description and it'll bring you to this web page. There's a big download button here. So go ahead and hit the download button if you want to download it. And it's going to tell you if you want to save the file. So we're going to go ahead and save it. It's a DMG file. And it's going to ask us where to save it. I'm going to save it here on the desktop. And hit save. Alright, so now I'm going to minimize this here. And as you can see right here, it's hackstore.dmg. I'm going to double click on that. You agree to their terms. And now it's opening the hack store and all you do is just drag it into your applications I'm gonna drag it in there and now we could close out of this and let's launch the hack store it's asking us if we're sure we want to open it we're gonna hit open it does look strikingly familiar with uh, what you would see with the App Store from Apple's App Store. Let's see here under Categories. Go to Categories. You have all your sections with games, uh, health and fitness, medical, social, sports. Let's see, let's click Games, see what we have here. Now it doesn't look like there's a lot of content because it was just released, but I'm sure this will fill up as we go. So. Let's see here. You open it up. You even got um, screenshots of the app. It gives you a little description of what you're going to download. And if you go down here, you have your user reviews. Okay, so now let's try to download an application. I see on the right-hand side here, there's a username, password, and you have to set up your own login. So um, we will go ahead and create an account. And here you're going to put name username, email, password, verify password, and then you could hit register. So I'm just going to do this really quick and I'll be right back. 
All right, so there you go. So now I'm logged in. It was really easy. All you do is just fill that information out and you will be logged in right away. So now I could see here that I'm logged in. It says log in and it says hi Bert. And now we could go ahead and try to download uh, application. So um, I'll go ahead and try to download FileZilla. If I click on FileZilla, the description again, the, this one doesn't have any screenshots, but there is a a place where you could review where you give it up to five stars and we could uh, write our own review here so we're not gonna want to do that we're gonna want to download and as you can see the download starts automatically and a little window here pops up it says download info and it gives you the file and how long it's gonna take to download it says uh, download finished so if we go maybe to our downloads, we see that it's right here, FileZilla. And you could open it up and you download it just like any regular application. I think this is a, a pretty neat addition to any of you Mac users. You guys will be happy to see that there's a, another option uh, to see other applications that you wouldn't see in your regular app store from Apple. So if you like this video, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know if, if this is something that you would be interested in or, or you know, some of you would probably be scared to, to download something like this, especially if it's with the name like Hack Store, you know, maybe it's something you guys wouldn't want to, to be a part of. But let me know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you used it, you know, if you have any questions, any concerns. I make sure to answer all my questions and comments as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to visit informalgadget.com.